Hi friends, happy Thursday. Welcome to the vlog. Um, so I haven't been vlogging today. I've been pretty busy. I like took some photos this morning for Instagram and stuff and I've just been cleaning around the house and things like that, getting ready for the trip. And my whole premise for this week's vlog has fallen apart because I'm going to do a haul for tomorrow's video, but it's gonna be more like a failure haul because literally everything I've gotten so far has been, yee. there's like two things that I got that I really like that I'm gonna keep, but everything else I'm just, no. So, yeah. Hey loves, uh, I just got a bunch of packages, so I figured how to open them on camera because why not let's chat let's talk about stuff uh today it feels like fall it's crazy 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 it is friday it is august 20 24th and some of this is stuff that i got to potentially take on my trip and there's a cat right in front of the camera so this is from anthropology um i don't remember i don't know what i what i vlogged yesterday but basically my dress that I bought for that event, the Honeymoon Glow launch, I don't think that I've ever mentioned that. I am going to the Honeymoon Glow launch event in Beverly Hills next Wednesday. And then I'm also going to the brunch that they're hosting the day after. And I'm so excited, I cannot wait. But I don't have anything to wear. I mean, I'm sure I do, you know, you know how it is. I don't know if you know how it is, but I'm always like that. When something comes up like this, like I want it to be special and I want to get a new outfit and I want to get a new whatever and that's the way that I am. But um, yeah, the dress came yesterday from Free People. Super cute. It's not really, I don't know, it's a little revealing. Like it's kind of backless. Are these cute? I don't think these are cute. I think I'm gonna return these. I can't tell. But basically I got these just very basic black sunglasses from Anthropology, And I think I hate them. These were originally $50 and why anyone, I keep dropping them. Why would anyone pay $50 for these? On the internet they kinda looked like Celine's and I am notoriously very hard on my sunglasses, so I wanted a cheaper pair to just keep in my work bag because I have broken a few pairs in the past year. And I guess that won't be them because I don't like those. I think that they're kind of ugly. Anyway, my dress that I got from Free People is super cute, but it's really low cut, like down to basically your belly button. Um, and it's got like a little bit, It's eyelet lace the top the bodice type deal is it's like bat wing kind of and it's deep v in the front and the back and it's this eyelet lace with just these two strips of material where your boobs are so that there's no like nip slips i guess and yeah i have big boobs I don't you know, that's probably a weird thing to say, but it's true, I do, I have a big chest. And so wearing things that you can't wear a bra with is not super easy for me. Like, I could have worn that dress without a bra and it would have been fine, but it's so open. Like literally just these two triangles have fabric so that you can't see through it. But the rest of the whole top of the dress, you can see straight through. So, I felt like it's really cute. They're sending me another one. I might wear it. I don't know yet. I have this bralette that's like a tube top kind of with just like the thinnest straps ever to keep it from falling off. Um, and I could wear that under it. But it's like really, I want to be really comfortable at this event because it is very out of my comfort zone to go do something like this. So I want to wear something that like I feel really confident and comfortable in, you know? And I don't feel like that dress was that for me, you know? Oh look, a little package from Bliss. They sent over some things from their Poor Patrol line. They sent their Daily Warming Scrub with Black Volcanic Sand. 
and their deep do deep detox for clay souffle mask cool cool i love their packaging like look at those little hearts it's so hard for me to get rid of stuff like this i've thrown away like three bliss boxes and it pains me every single time okay what's next so yeah they're sending me another one of those dresses but my husband is taking me shopping I don't know if he's taking me tonight or tomorrow, but anthro, it's anthro day. This camera is bad at focusing. It's anthro day at anthropology, so I think we're gonna go to anthropology and see if they have anything, even though, like, they're normally my go-to for stuff like this, but I haven't been able to find anything on their website that I've really liked, so I'm a little disappointed at that, but what can you do, right? I mean, anthropology is such a weird store. Like, I'm 26, and I feel like anthropology is more on the mature side, generally. Like, it's basically free people for older people. Not older, but you know what I'm saying. Like, people who aren't 21. Because free people is very, while it is very cute in my opinion, it's very boho, easy breezy, like, I don't know, and a lot of it's really low cut, or backless, or strapless, or tiny, you know, like their stuff is very much geared towards the younger people, in my opinion. And that's totally fine, but sometimes I feel like it's a bit much for me. Like I said, I am bigger busted, and sometimes their stuff just doesn't work on me. And uh, I feel like Anthropology, because they're owned by the same company, it's Urban Outfitters, Free People, and Anthropology, and they're all like different degrees. I feel like Urban Outfitters is mostly geared towards high school students, younger people, maybe college age. Free People caters to definitely like college age to early 20s. And then Anthropology, I feel like is 25 and up, basically. Um, but anthropology has this weird thing where like their styles within their store I don't feel are very cohesive like they have a really weird variety of stuff and styles and colors and cuts and they oscillate between having like clothes that are appropriate for like elderly women to clothes that are appropriate for like really young women and also their stuff can be really pricey which doesn't always correlate with quality it's just a weird thing and i don't know i feel like i just feel like their brand's not super cohesive for whatever reason but i guess there's a little something for everyone i i really don't know but this past week when i was looking for a dress i looked there and i was like wow all of these are not cute Anyway, next package is also from Anthropology. I got these cute little hugger um, hoop earrings. They're very simple, just gold, and I really, really like them. I also got these, if you can see them. I think they're really cute. And I also got this necklace, which has three rings on it. But I really like it as well. These are actually super cute. I think these are on clearance, actually at the moment and it's anthro day uh i don't it probably won't be by the time that i put this up but still and then i got these shorts which anthropology the brands that they carry in jeans i find the sizing to be super inconsistent so i got they didn't have these in my typical size so i got a size bigger and they look way too big last package is from madewell and uh, they're having a sale, so I just picked up a couple of things. Um, first thing is a backpack. I'll take that out of the package. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. It's really big. I don't know why, but I thought this would be smaller than it is. It's a canvas backpack. I don't know it's pretty cute it's just it's just your run-of-the-mill backpack I thought that this would be a nice backpack to travel with because it's not massive but it's not small I have that problem where I carry I bring too much stuff so if my carry-on's a backpack it usually ends up being stuffed but 
I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I might end up returning that just because I don't really love the way it looks. The next thing I got is this dress. This dress had really good reviews. It's actually blue. It's blue and white. It's a high neck um, blue and white stripe dress, which also might be being returned because I don't really like that it's blue. Um, that's okay though. It feels nice. I'll go try it on in a second. And then this last thing I know I'm gonna keep, these are just a new pair of high-waisted jeans. They are dark wash. I don't have a pair of dark wash high-waisted jeans that fit me anymore. These, oh, I love their jeans. They're so good. These are super cute. They have different a different color stitching than I'm used to on Madewell jeans. But these are the um, high roller. I don't know what these are. These are the 10 inch high rise skinny and 26. Well, I don't need to tell you how big they are but I love their jeans, they're so good. Okay, that's it for my unboxing. I'm sure it was anticlimactic, but I said that I was gonna do these on here now, so I am. Uh, yeah, but that's, I am, I am moderately stressed about finding outfits for the event and the brunch, but it will be okay, even if I have to wear something I already own. But um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm not pretty excited. I'm really really excited. I'm so excited. I never thought that I would ever be invited to anything like this. So it's like a thrill and an honor, and I can't believe it. And I'm so excited. Hi friends. Uh, it's Saturday now. I've been very bad at vlogging this week. It's because I've been so busy, and I've just been like trying to get ready for this trip and the whole dress fiasco and not knowing what I'm gonna wear and that's really stressing me out. But we went to every, and I mean this when I say this, we went to every single store that might have a dress that I could wear. I tried on more dresses than I've tried on for anything in my life. I tried on more dresses today than I did wedding dresses for my wedding. I tried on more dresses in, well, not just today, in the past few days than I did for my prom, for any dance I ever went to, anything. Like, I've never had this much trouble finding a dress before. And I think that it's because it's like transitional time. You know, everybody's putting away their summer stock and getting out their fall stuff. And it's very much still like summer weather in LA. But the dress that I got is more on the fall side because I literally couldn't find anything else. Like I couldn't find anything that was even remotely my style. So I ended up with this free people dress and I will show it to you right now. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, so I actually saw this dress at multiple places. I saw it at Von Mar, Dillard's, Macy's, I feel like I saw it one other place, but I can't remember where. But I was just like, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother trying that on because it has sleeves and it's summer, but I feel like this is the more practical choice to buy right now because it is about to be fall. I do have several fall weddings happening and I don't have any dresses to wear to fall weddings that aren't, you know, in need of a sweater. So this is what it looks like. It is very slim through the body, a little bit of a flare at the hips, and it has sleeves. Um, I think that the detail on it is really pretty. Like the flowers give it a bit more of a summery vibe. I love the buttons. I think they're really cute. It actually kind of looks like a romper, but it's not. It is a dress. It has a tie around the back. Um, I think that you could tie it around the front or the back, whatever you prefer, but I like it tied in the back. I think it looks funny in the front but it's super cute. Um, it is quite chesty, so as most free people dresses are, to be completely fair, but I really like it. Um, even the sleeves, I thought that this, I saw this, I literally saw this at like four places before I tried it on, and it's because of the sleeves. I was like, well those sleeves are massive, they look like Victorian sleeves, but to my surprise, I actually really like it. It's the only dress that I tried on and I was like, huh, 
kind of cute. <laughs> Everything else I was like, well, this would be cute if I was 45. This would be cute if I had tiny boobs. This would be cute if I was like the most petite human being on this earth. But this one I feel looks really flattering on my body type, which I am very tall. I have a very narrow waist. I have bigger boobs. I have hips. This is very forgiving in that in all of those areas it really accentuates what I consider to be positive attributes of myself and it's not so short that I'm worried about my butt falling out so all in all I think it's a winner uh, it has you know it's the theme is like tropical and I feel like the flowers give it a more tropical kind of vibe but I'm gonna be wearing gold jewelry. I'm probably gonna be wearing uh, these strappy sandals that I got at Madewell a couple of years ago. So, I don't know. I'll put some flowers in my hair or something to make it more tropical. But I am happy with this purchase. And everyone should note that my husband spent more time with me in stores this weekend than anyone should ever have to spend in stores ever in their whole life. And he's playing guitar, I'm sure you can hear that. Along with this crunchy bag. But he's playing guitar downstairs. So. I have a little Sephora haul. Okay, I ordered this stuff before the sale even started because I really wanted it for my trip. So that's why it's already here. This is from Sephora, by the way. What is this? So this is like a weird testing thing where you press this and it has water that it dispenses and then you squeeze the little bitty beauty blender to make it absorb all the water and it's supposed to get two times bigger. I am pretty convinced that this is the biggest waste of plastic ever on this earth. What is the point of this? open then squeeze to feel the unique foam first of all who i mean i don't want to say that because it might seem mean but like this is such an odd oh no this is such an odd thing like i don't feel like this is um well that was so it's like this weird flat beauty blender and it's really small. I mean, I'm pretty sure this has no no benefit. You can maybe like blot with it. What is the point of this? I don't know. I didn't order that. I don't know where that came from. Okay, so I got a new foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Luminous Oil Free Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. I've never tried this but uh, all of my foundations are not the correct shade right now and so I, this had good reviews. I was torn between this and the Hourglass uh, stick foundation which I have tried before and I do like, but I run through those so quickly it just didn't seem very cost effective because it costs more than this and I feel like I will use this less quickly because I just tend to use liquid less quickly. I also got another one of the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealers. This is my third. Hopefully this is in my correct shade. It looks a little bit closer, so that's good. Um, the other two that I have are a little bit dark. I got a full size of the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I'm obsessed with this. I've gotten a few messages on Instagram about what, uh, what mascara I was using in my get ready with me portion of my last vlog. It was this one, it was just the mini, but this is a really pretty tube as well. Hey guys, um, hold on, let me like turn on, I've got, I've got so much noise happening around me. Okay, so my husband is still playing
Okay, so my husband's still playing guitar downstairs. I apologize if you can hear that, but yeah, I'm trying. I'm just trying to get this to not freaking fall over. I'm being such a failure at vlogging this weekend, or this entire week, it's because I'm so busy. Today, I filmed three YouTube videos. I'm editing them and uploading them and scheduling them because I'm gonna be gone. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be gone on Monday, but I feel like I'm gonna be busy like packing and getting things ready, so I wanted to go ahead and have that one scheduled and up. I am gonna be gone on Friday, so I have that one. Uh, I'm actually exporting it and then I'll upload it next and I'm gonna have that one scheduled, and then I'm gonna get back really late Sunday night so I don't feel like I'm going to want to film a video on Monday, so I'm just, I already filmed that, and it's upload, or I'm gonna, I need to edit it, and then export it, and then upload it, but I've made all the thumbnails, all of it's done. Okay, so back to the, the little mini Sephora haul. I actually only have one more thing. Man, these hourglass palettes are always smaller than I think they're going to be. Okay, so this is the Hourglass Illume palette. It's the Sheer Color Trio. I was really excited about this. Um, I was told that it goes out of stock all the time, so I saw it when it was in stock, and I just went ahead and went for it. It's got a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. Let me turn up the exposure on this so it's a little bit brighter. Oops. Didn't help much. Maybe if I bring up a... There we go, oh yes, that's terrible lighting, but it's better than that. Oh my gosh, this is not working out right now. Why? Okay, that, that's better. Okay, so this is what this looks like. It's pretty beautiful. I'm actually really excited about it. It looks like somebody's touched it. It didn't have one of those plastic films in it either, so that's a little bit weird. But this is in the shade Sunset. I think they only have one color scheme of this. So yeah, there's that. And then I also got this, um, oh, that's interesting. I've never tried the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation and this is a, this is so cool. This is the little uh, sample that I chose and it's got a very significant amount of four different colors and the primer, that's impressive. But they had a, um, whatchamacallit, a promo going for three foundations, I think. You get three deluxe samples of foundations. And one of the ones I got is the, um, whatchamadoodle, the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, Seamless seamless Finish Foundation. The other two I got are not cruelty free. I only chose them because it wouldn't let me pick this one without picking two more. I think that this shade is like way too dark for me. It looks way too dark for me, so I don't think that I'm gonna be able to use it until like next year. Hopefully it's still good then. Or if I use a lot of self-tanner, which I probably won't because I am a massive failure at self-tanner. So that's probably not gonna happen. But yeah, that's, that's what I bought at Sephora. I also got three minis. Oh gosh. I just almost rolled myself into a death trap. I did not get these from Sephora, I got these from the Moroccan Oil website, but I am trying not to check a bag on my flight to LA. So I got, um, I, I found out that aerosols under 3.4 ounces are allowed in cabin, uh, as long as you don't have like 45 of them. So I got dry shampoo, my favorite dry shampoo, or my second, I, I don't know. You know, I love Perk Up, I love Amika Perk Up, and I love this one. Those are my two dry shampoos. But I got this one because I don't even know if Amika makes a um, mini version, and also because Moroccan Oil has insanely fast shipping, and I knew that it would get here in time. Uh, I got a mini dry texture spray, and I got a mini hairspray. So I am prepared on that front. I have started packing. Uh, that's my suitcase. It's super small. I'm gonna bring um, that backpack, my Fjall Raven backpack. And yeah, I bought a clear makeup case from Amazon. I love it when my camera doesn't focus on my face. Man, this thing's a piece of garbage. Why won't it focus? Hi. There we go. Uh, I bought a clear plastic 
makeup case, like a travel case from uh, Amazon that will be here tomorrow along with like my travel bottles and stuff. My friend Emily uh, at Glow Up Your Game on Instagram, she came, I don't know if she came up with this idea, but she presented this idea. She traveled to Europe earlier in the summer and she came up with the idea of decanting skincare into little contact lens cases. So I bought some contact lens cases. They will be here tomorrow. I also bought some blue blocking glasses because I look at screens literally all day long. Whether I'm at work or working at home or blogging or doing whatever, I am always looking at screens. And I don't wanna go blind sooner than I need to or sooner than I will if I'm uh, predisposed to blindness. So I bought some blue blocking uh, glasses that will also be here tomorrow. And yeah, that's really all I've got to share right now, but I am definitely gonna share with you what I pack in terms of skincare and makeup because this is gonna be a little bit different for me as I've never traveled with just a carry-on ever. I, the only times I've ever done that are like when I was in Seattle with Corey, I had all of my like toiletry stuff there. So all I needed to bring was clothes. So every time I'd go back and forth, I wouldn't have to bring any type of like makeup or anything like that. I had hairspray, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff was already there. So this trip, I don't think I'm gonna bring shampoo and conditioner. It's a five day total trip. I think I'll wash my hair on Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I think I'll wash my hair on Tuesday, curl my hair Wednesday morning. I wash my hair about once a week usually, so I should be able to manage with just dry shampoo, but I don't know. Or I might, oh my gosh, that would be an atrocity. Like, I can't even imagine using my husband's shampoo and conditioner. Ugh. He uses like two in one shampoo and conditioner. My hair would look like freaking Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. I don't know, but I'm feeling a little bit a little bit stressed not as stressed as I thought I would be I think getting the videos made and knocked out really helped me but I still feel like I have so much to do before Wednesday and I feel like I have very little time to do it like I really wanted to go get a mani-pedi but I don't think that I'm gonna have time so I think I'm gonna have to do that at home and yeah and I'm I'm second-guessing my dress choice ah they had the dress in yellow too and I'm considering whether or not I should go back and try it on in yellow. Also, I bought an extra small because it fit me. Like it looked, I felt like it looked good on, but when I looked at it online on the models, the model, the, it looks really baggy on all the models. So I feel like maybe I bought the wrong size, even though the extra small fits me really well. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna end up having to I, I feel like I'm gonna end up taking it back, honestly. I don't, I don't know. I feel weird now knowing that those models were a much baggier version. My inner monologue, my insecurities, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Okay, I'll talk to you all later. So yeah, I spend the majority of my life staring at screens, be it at home when I'm working on blogging or Instagram or whatever, or if I'm at work where I work on a computer all day long. And I have heard things about blue light and how it can expedite blindness or cause cancer and it just makes your eyes tired. You can see the blue, the screen is blue in my glasses, but these are blue blocking eyeglasses they have no magnification they're literally just clear glass with blue blocking technology so I've been wearing these all day and I'm not gonna lie I think they're so cute um, I have wanted glasses my entire life like literally my entire life I have so many pairs of 1% or 1 whatever magnification reading glasses it's stupid every time my husband wears glasses and every time he needs a new prescription, I go with him to the eye doctor and I try on tons of pairs of glasses. But I really like these. I got them on Amazon. They were like 20 bucks. They actually came with like this, the, I mean, it's not a cute case, but it's a practical case. 
um, a lens cleaning cloth. It also came with like a tiny, tiny screwdriver to um, make sure that your, whatever these are called, uh, eyeglass arms are tightened, but aren't they cute? I feel like a librarian. Every now and then they'll like slide down on my nose and I'm like, <laughs> but you know how, like this is my least favorite thing in the world, okay? Ready? When you get a haircut or you get your hair colored or done or whatever and you go into work or you go wherever the next day and somebody's like, oh, you got your hair done. It's like, yeah, yeah, wh what do you think? You know, when somebody says that, it's like saying you look tired. It's like saying you look like sh but <laughs> they don't wanna say that, they wanna say you look tired. Um, so yeah, I wore these, I was wearing these this morning at work when I saw one of my coworkers for the first time and she was like, oh, new look? And I was like, yeah. She's like, ah, do you wear contacts? And I was like, no. Uh, and then, then I explained what they were. But yeah, like that, that's my, one of my biggest pet peeves when people like state objective facts, but they give no opinion. It's like, if you liked them, you would have said, oh, you got glasses, I love them. Not, oh, new look, <laughs> or oh, you look tired. Like, did you get enough sleep last night? You got a haircut. Yeah, I did. If you're not gonna give an opinion on it, just don't say anything about it. I'm being so overly dramatic about this, but yeah. Okay, so anyway, the rest of this vlog is going to be the rest of this vlog is going to be probably like packing stuff. Um, I packed my skincare yesterday. I'm gonna be packing my makeup tomorrow. And so I'm probably gonna like briefly take you through what I've packed in those realms and also probably what I packed in terms of clothing. Also, how cute is this shirt? Also, uh, I'm not gonna go fully in depth in the vlog because I am going to make full videos, uh, like main, main videos about what I packed for skincare and makeup. Is the blue light on these glasses uh, distracting? Because it's kind of distracting to me. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been so busy, you guys. And it's funny because I did so much shopping this weekend. I tried on every single dress in this city. I'm not even joking. We went to every major store and I tried on every single dress that I thought was even remotely appropriate, even if it didn't look like anything that I would ever wear, I tried it on. Like there was this dress at Anthropology, and I'm not gonna lie, it looked good on me. Like it was a v-neck type situation. It was sort of midi length. It was floral. It was really pretty but it wasn't me at all. Like, it would have been perfect. It was kind of tropical, because the theme is tropical. Um, it's kind of tropical. My husband really liked it, and I was like, I don't like it. I have to sneeze. Ooh! Okay, um, so yeah, I tried on every single dress in the city. I could have taken you along for that, but I didn't, because, mostly because I was really stressed out, like really stressed out. Um, whatever. Uh, anyway, I don't know if I mentioned this. I meant to mention it in my last vlog, but I forgot. Um, the launch event that I'm going to is for Pharmacy Beauty's Honeymoon Glow. They're having like a party um, in LA on Wednesday, and I'm going to that. And then the next day, they're having a brunch. I don't know if it's for Honeymoon Glow or if it's just like a little pharmacy get together type situation, but I'm going to that as well. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm going to two events now, but I need something to wear to that also. I think I've found something, but I'm not sure. You know, it's one of those, I feel really nasally right now. Just for the record, I didn't sleep at all last night. Anyway, the replacement dress that Free People sent me is on my porch right now, so I'm gonna go grab that and I'm gonna show it to you because I don't think I showed you the original that was really ripped and terrible. So I'm gonna go grab that and I'm gonna show it to you because it's really cute, but I'm sending it back because I will probably never wear it. It was a $130 dress and you shouldn't pay $130 for things that you'll never wear, in my opinion. You should write that on your wall. <laughs> 
So it's green. I actually really, I really do think that this is a beautiful dress, but I don't know. You know, the it, there are a variety of reasons I'm not keeping it. Okay, so this one looks like it's actually never been touched. So that's awesome. Not ripped, great. But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's actually really, I really like this dress. I'm not gonna lie. I think that it's really pretty but this one needs like a really good steam. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm not keeping it is basically because of this whole situation right here. Uh, it has fabric right here. This whole eyelet deal is all the way around like the top part of the dress. I don't know what you call it, the bodice, I don't know. But the front has these little triangles of material basically where your boobs are and that's the only little bit of not see-through material that exists on this dress outside of the skirt. And it's quite short, and while I do think that it's really cute, and it is really flattering on, it's not my style. I feel like I'm too old for it, because it is very revealing. Like, these holes are no joke. Like, they are legit holes. So, the entire back is just open for the world to see. It's a deep V. And it's like, it's loose, so if you, I don't know, move in the wrong way and your skirt shifts, or your top shifts, like your boobs or your butt are going to be everywhere. I do think that they could be a little bit more mindful of women who don't want to show off all of their bits to the world, or who have bigger boobs, because a lot of their clothes, like their bralettes especially, they don't work with bigger chests. They just don't. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Uh, this is gonna be the end of my vlog. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I've packed and stuff. And then uh, I've gotta edit this and upload this because I am leaving early tomorrow morning by myself. I am terrified. Um, I was informed like a couple of, well I wasn't informed. I was asked a couple of hours ago if I wanted to be interviewed for a video. Uh, I don't know if it's just a video of me. Uh, it seemed that way. It seemed like they had a couple of videos planned with a couple of people and that I was one of them and that I was one of the videos. So I'm really nervous now, even though like all of the questions, they sent me all the questions and like I know what I'm in for, but I film videos by myself all the time. I film myself all the time, but I've never ever filmed myself in front of a group of people ever. <laughs> I mean, I guess I would not be filming myself. They would be filming me, but like, I don't even let Corey, my husband listen when I film things. Like I'm notoriously all up on him, like put on your noise canceling headphones whenever I'm filming. Okay, so this is all I've packed so far. Like a few bits of clothing and like that's really it. As far as cosmetics go, look at how beautifully organized. I woke up late this morning. But this is what I'm bringing for like my liquids. Uh, I was told and advised by many, many people that aerosols are allowed on in carry-on luggage as long as they are under 3.4 ounces. So that's that. Um, that is the makeup bag that I'm bringing, which is obviously filled. I don't even think I'm bringing this Marc Jacobs bronzer. Also, how sad is this? I haven't even traveled a lot with this, and the rose gold lettering is wearing off. It's very sad. Um, but I know I'm bringing that because I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing. But as far as clothes go, I don't know what I'm bringing. I have maybe two outfits in there right now. Okay, I'm going to end this vlog here because I have a lot of stuff that I need to do. I love it when my camera doesn't focus. Okay. I'm gonna end this here because I have a lot of stuff to do before I go to bed tonight. Thank you so much for watching my third vlog. That's so weird, I've been vlogging for a while now. Okay, I will see you on Friday. Bye. Oh yeah, for all those who were concerned, Burn, my fiddly fig, has gotten a new leaf. This is brand new. And also, 
I really need to repot him because he's growing a mushroom. That's a mushroom. Okay, now I'm really going now.